Red Dead's gonna piddle, gonna make a stop fiddle, gonna whack it with a stick. I guess that's why they call it a beach stick. Hello. I thought I would share with you a project that I have, and I'm going to make a stump fiddle or a beat stick. Stump is spelled S T U M P F. And there's actually a factory that sells these percussion sticks. However, when I got online, I saw that even used ones, uh, people that had made them, were selling them for around $300, and I didn't want to pay that amount of money. They're kind of considered kind of like folk art also. What you do is you just get a stick and you add things to it and everything you can beat with a stick or a baton and make percussion noises. So I have my stick. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Made some noise. Uh, this is a walking stick. I paid $5 for this at the flea market. And everything that I purchased on the table is going to be behind me. I'm going to step aside and show it to you. Uh, it's bought for under $50. Oh, before I show you everything, I want to show you a, a little thing I bought. This was uh, sold in 1960, so my goodness, it's uh, 60 years old, uh, and it was in perfect shape. It's called a beat stick, and it was for uh, a child, and you would hit the bells and the block and shake it, and it would make all the noises. It was kind of like a, a stump fiddle or a beat stick for a small child. Now, we're going to make one for an adult. Now, I'm not going to go step by step. I'm just going to show you what will eventually be attached to it. At a thrift store, I bought this for a dollar. It's a little tambourine. This is a little brass planter, and uh, once you connect it, you can strike it like that and get a bass sound. This actually is a music holder for a trumpet or something like that in a marching band. I'm going to put that on the very top and attach things to it. I've got a uh, rubber footing. Uh, it came in a set of four. I've got three in here because I've already used one for another project. This is going to go on the bottom of the stick because when you beat it on the floor at somebody's house and they've got nice wood floors, they're probably going to go, stop that, you're damaging my floor. So it's non-scuffed and it'll help out. Got some pie pans. Two of them are very pretty. I uh, bought them from Amazon, $5 each, and I will connect them together and what we will do is put some uh, unpopped popcorn seeds uh, inside of there to give it a rattle sound. That's what we'll do. I bought a cowbell for a dollar at the flea market. Bought a horn for about ten dollars at Amazon. Bought the loudest bicycle bell I've ever heard. My goodness this thing is loud. And uh, got a wooden block and I'll connect that to the side of the stick. I've got this little thing that shakes and rattles like a tambourine. I'm going to connect the bell to the end of the handle. This is a Frigidaire egg holder uh, from a refrigerator. And I put some plastic eggs in there and you see that once it goes up and down it'll make some noise also. Bought this for a dollar at a thrift store and it's just a little scrub board. And we'll try to put that on the side of our stick. I thought I was ordering two string, or springs, excuse me, and they sent me a whole box of them. My goodness, what am I gonna do with all these springs? But I'm gonna use uh, maybe four of them on the rhythm stick, the beat stick, and, and I'll find something else to use the other springs for. Uh, this whole box only cost about $5. And I believe I've covered everything, and so I'm not going to go step by step. You'll see it once it's all completed. So thanks for putting up with this little preview of all my separate items. And the next time you'll see me with the stump stick, the beat stick, whatever you want to call it, all put together. God bless. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. I'm back just after a few hours of drilling and putting some screws and brackets on my new beat stick. 
And so uh, the great thing about this is you can go back and take some things off and add something else if you don't like the way you configured things. And, but here it is. It, I almost ran out of room. Okay. As you can see, we've got the pie plates down there. I've got to go back and, and drill some more holes. It's made of stainless steel, and I've got to get some super titanium bits or something like that. But uh, you beat it down like, like that. Like that, that's one side. The other side is mainly a rhythm section, and uh, I've got the brass uh, plant holder down there, a planter, whatever you want to call it, and tambourine and a little scrub board, egg thing. Cowbell, you can take the uh, ringer out if you want to and just make sure it only sounds when you strike it. And so this is the other side. All right. And so uh, it's something different. There's not another one like it. And so this is what we call a stump fiddle or a beat stick. And this is the one that Rev Ed made with the loud bell and a good old horn. So I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this brief video. It's something to do during the pandemic when you're at home. Go out into the shed, grab a few things, or order a few things that you uh, specially need, like the bell and the horn and it'll all work out and you'll have some fun and put on your favorite song and get with the beat. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.